Very, very nice. All right, it's starting. 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 It's
071, Commissioner Michaud asked for a new copy of the purchase order pertaining to, to, to what? Was it supplies? I don't remember what I put there. Um, yeah, I think that's when you did it. It was the same as flow meter. All right. So, flow meter. Um, I don't know. If, okay. Number 10, discussion about KAB. They only offered one payment for 505. And they didn't say when they would make the next payments, which was the big issue. So we said, okay, how about you make them weekly and be specific? And that's why I said we sent the letter and the offer. Did they ever respond? Not my knowledge. Yeah, well, you. we'll find out. Um, number 12, Willie Street Engineering proposal. What was decided about this? We're, we're looking for people to give us proposals. We have one from right here, so we have another one coming in from HTA. Um, commissioners were questioned. Someone in the audience questioned the commissioner about how much the lawyer charges per hour. I should have jumped up at that point and said, don't answer that, Justin, but he did anyway. I don't know who that person was. I can go back and look through the film. <laughs> The issue of hacking the email stated that any accounts that the district owns are the property of the district. This is in the personnel policy, which everyone who works for the district signed. So it says it right in there that the district owns all email accounts and property and everything else. Um, we're not going to rehash the issue of public versus non public sessions. That's a settled matter. Um, some see the responses and reactions from the commissioners as not caring. I want that entire line struck as editorializing. I make a motion that that line be struck. Other than that, I'm okay with the rest of it. The rest of it will make a motion to accept with those changes. Huh? You're smiling. You get that on the film. No, I can't jump. I'm over here. Okay. I'm on camera one. Moving on. No, wait. I need a second. No second. Okay. Did you vote in an agreement? Yes. I okay. said that. I okay. gave a second before. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Jeremy, let's go. Thank you. View new invoices and purchase orders. We have it. None. I don't know if I actually need this for just for postcards for billing. Or stamps for postcards for billing. Oh god, yes. Yes. Definitely I do need that. Yes. Um nine well yeah, nine twenty-five. Most assuredly. <laughs> Treasurer's report, budget today.
What about the adjustments on the <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars from the sewer budget and fifteen thousand from the administration. Okay. Any comments on any of that so far? Anything you want to say, Alta? Um, no, not at the moment. I'll wait. So. Oh no. Well, I was just going to say that I would really appreciate it if you guys would answer my email when I send emails um, with questions. <clears throat> for instance, I would have sent this treasurer's report sooner, but I was waiting for you to get back to me about whether or not you're going to give me the other invoice to process. Um, I have multiple emails in my sent box that I'm just sitting there waiting for people that are right back to me. So I feel like it's started to inhibit things a little bit, and I would appreciate the response. The right Pierce bill, I wasn't going to release that until I got the report, which I got this afternoon. The legal bill was in with a duplicate bill, and I had to go back and research if we'd already paid it, and we had. So I gave you basically a clean invoice. That's fine, but you couldn't just write when I say, so are you going to give that to me before the meeting? I put it in two different emails, and it's just crickets.
one of the design builds, which is eighteen thousand dollars. Wow. The other one's a draw. I mean, build draw, and they'll do right in their service and support it for them. But we are still doing the work ourselves. Yes. That's a lot of money. Just the oh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Discussion on that. Same money. Thing. Yeah. Are we getting a second proposal on that for that? Should we? I think we should put this one in mind. Well, there, there are two different I understand that. Right. I understand that. We're looking for the whole thing. Eighteen and five. No, they're not together. One is one is one, one is another. Correct. One is like the Reader's Digest version. Mm -hmm. and the other one is the Full, full volume appendix. What's your take on this? You can I go with the uh, bill draw, uh, excuse me, bill draw at this point in time. This one. Yeah, the four thousand. Well, five thousand. One hundred. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, we got that on the We got to pump this down. We got a mag here to replace. Yep. And we're going to start spending money. The thing is, there's a certain amount of money that's coming from to pay for it on that $325,000 to see what the other one is for. Once we get the determination, I have no objection to doing this job. You've got to find out where the money's coming from. I think we've already separated the money for it. Well, we've you know, come to a general idea that it's about one third two thirds. But beyond that, and more precisely, we really can't tell. He said the uh, eight bottles and the cooler run roughly seven something a month, I guess it's like that. The figures down. But with six ounces, the cooler will be four hundred some more dollars, almost five hundred dollars a month. Times two months is about a thousand dollars. Yeah. But um, I'm willing to go along with it for two months. And then after that, we have to review it. We can't automatically let it extend. No, that won't be way. This is the same thing. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is I'm going to support the idea of two months, but then we have to review it after two months. Or before the two months is up. 
Okay. Depending on where we're going, as far as the Wooly Street and the construction going to stop, the whole thing. That's going to be the key to getting things. Okay. Yes. The it's okay, but two months. Two months from now. I'll make a motion to that effect. Second. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You will. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You had to go ahead. Throw a little bit of info into the mix. So Florida well should um, should start slowing down its process based on demand coming out of summer. Uh, last year, historically, um, what we found is once Porter shut down, the water quality did get better. Out of, out of water. So two months, I think, will get us there, Clem. And hopefully, when we have the discussion, um, we'll see that the water quality, due to the fact that we're uh, across uh, port, you know, Porter well is not operating, will have corrected itself for the time being. Now, the next question comes. You put forward a proposal in, I believe it was last meeting about taking the excess water and filling that for them. The bottles have a big issue. Mm -hmm. um, we probably spend a month or two with that process of filling the bottles. Mm -hmm. Sure, I mean, possibly, but that's two months down the road. But we're that. talking about November and December when it's cold, mm -hmm. or it used to be cold. Moving on. That's, that's, a, that's a possibility anytime. So okay. logistically, we just got to figure out how we're going to transfer. Yeah, because that would have, well, you know, it, would be up to them. it would be up to them to take that. Where are you going to refill the bottle? You're not going to have them go up that Porter Well Road, are you? No, I, it's not Porter Well. I haven't come to General Sullivan, but okay. even better, I mean, we can, if we could get our hands on a couple of one gallon bottles for each property, we can fill them up during the day over there and just drop them off. We're, we're going up and down Willie Street regularly. Okay. So, I mean, that's simple. You mean, what? Well, this is sort of related to that. The road to Porter Wells has got to be rewritten. Yeah. It's pretty sad shape. Um, the people who did it in the past, that was me. They you just walked me down that thing and put them all off. Do you want me to contact them or do you want to contact them? No. I do want to contact them. David, you want to have Nick come in and do the great outfit? They know where all the dips and strange turns are. We've done it for decades. You want me to get multiple prices, or you just want to have Nick come in? Have him, have him just come in to do it. How much do you know what it costs? Well, that's just, uh, I'd have to look it up at the moment. Ballpark. Well, ask. No, I'll, well, I'll, 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 I'll get a price. Yeah, yeah get, get a price, price from there. Find out. Because it's going to take a lot of grading and not include whatever the length of the road that you have. What's the difference in distance from where it comes up Crystal Lane to that area? That's undeveloped. Well, that was a road through there. I used to lay up and run it. Yes, I know, but are you talking about developing that? Well, if you don't put that kind of money into the other one to get it set up, you want to do it there to be shorter, be flatter. No hills to climb, we get things going on one time. So, why don't we ask Nick to take a look at it? That would be the smart thing to do. The because they to ask. Yeah. Do we, we own the land on the other side of the creek, do we not? No. no. Okay, so we, so we got a right of way. There, there was a right of way. We okay. had to figure out what it was. I know that the, the old water guy used to use it uh, during the store, mm -hmm. in the store street. We used to go that way. I think. Until we get our property rights clarified, let's concentrate on just getting the ones we have. There's yeah. also some law on after a certain period of time, the right of way isn't used, you lose that right away. It's land. If you don't I know there's a time frame. I don't know the way it is. I do. Right? Because I have to look it up. Okay. Um, after 20 years, if someone uses a right-of-way or a piece of property for 20 years without objection of the property owner, they have an easement by, I can't remember. Adverse possession. No. By what? I guess. Adverse, Adverse possession. possession. All I know is the case law was Wolfboro and a driveway in Manchester. That was the case law. That's if they continue to use it. No years. No. You only have to use it once a year. Because the Wolfram case was excess water flowed over a dam, but it only happened once a year. 
but they gained uh, possession, and I wish I could remember the exact term, because it flooded once a year. But it did it every year for 20 years. Something we can later. Yeah. Not necessarily. Just get, just get an idea of what it's called. What was the written contact in it next? Dave May. Quarter ventilation for quarter well is next. I have a quote from Colin Sheet Metal to put in a wall fan and shutter with variable speed switch, motorized damper, and weather hood to try and get that place at least ventilated. $4,100 installed. Questions, comments? We've got to pay for the electrical, that's true. What's your thought on that? It's a fix. It ain't a permanent fix. It's not long range. It doesn't work. It's better than nothing. Right. Um, my position on that is that the automation needs at four would be priority. I know that when you guys walked up there and uh, and saw the, the the shape of some of that metal in the room, um, there's been corrosion that's happened over the years. Like I said in the past, the, that environment's changed drastically with the way we're delivering chemicals. Um, I don't feel that it's high priority right now. Um, I know we haven't got uh, the official copy of our sanitary survey, um, but it was a discussion had during the survey, and they were going to notate that as well, um, basically, because they've been involved with the prior um, chemical delivery system in today's chemical delivery system. So uh, the state also feels that it's, it's not number one priority that the automation is. So hey, Brian Collins from surprisingly Collins Sheet Metal said <clears throat> he, he was concerned about the corrosion, but he said the high level of humidity, the puddles of water was a concern to him. And he said, you really need to get the humidity in that place down so it isn't puddling on the floor. So the humidity is, it only happens for a very short <coughs> time up there. The rest of the year, that the water coming out of the ground and in that environment, there's not a ton of humidity in that room. Um, this is the worst time of year for it, these two months. It, it's not the water that's being supplied to us. It's, it's the sweat of the um, arsenic processing of those big capsules. Right, because of the temperature of the water coming out of the ground right. and it's been the right. heat change, you know, uh, on those, uh, on the arsenic system. But that, you go up there right now, you're not going to see that. Well, and a simple good. solution for that would be just a, a dehumidifier. We could put in and plug in maybe two of them for, you know, four or five hundred bucks a piece. But in terms of the humidity and the sweating, that is not, it's just my thing. Um, I'm up there year-round. That's, that's not my priority. There is a plug there, if I remember correctly. The electrical is there. Is that not correct? There's, I believe you pointed one out. I mean, there's plugs all throughout that building. There's plugs that have been put in place for old chemical addition um, processes that only turn on when certain things turn on. We'd have to check the wiring on that to make sure it's a constant speed. Um, I think I have to be honest with you, I tend to see this, this was a write-up from over two years ago, and I think this is my personal opinion, I thought it would be cheaper than this, however, given what they're going to do, that's probably a good deal, and that at least, it may not be a permanent deal, it may still need, I got to, the dehumidifiers, but at least, um, it shows them giving something on that, it's not a help a lot of money. Yes, no. Newspaper rights would be done below where you can cross the other button. I don't know with cables. He wants them at the cables. Both of them? Intake at the gable, exhaust at the gable. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's their business. They know what they're talking about, I guess. They've been around a long time. Yeah. Just keep in mind, guys, that the, the, the cost of the installation is the cost of the pH analyzer that we desperately need up there. It's the cost of the turbidity process that we desperately need up there. 
that's going to help with our road emission on Willow Street. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the corrosion we have, we have issue. More on Willow Street. Um, I, I, I'm just, you asked for my opinion, I just want to make sure it's clear. You know, that, that money could be spent on the equipment needed up there so we can start automizing that process um, so we can get more stable treatment. You want to defer? You want to defer? Defer for no answer. Okay. We'll come back to this in the next meeting. Okay. All right. Number 10. Surplus capital reserve account for water and sewer. Remember this? If anybody picked up um, and we got this letter in here from Upton, Hatfield, blah, 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 blah and James. James. Oh. This is from Justin. And she's, he says there is a way to set money aside for capital improvements using last year's fund balance. And he goes into great detail about how it's done. Now, we just had a discussion about engineering study for the pump gallery. If we create a reserve account for water and then another one for <coughs> wastewater and put $10,000 in each account, we could then pay the right here spill, the one that's what, 70 some odd thousand, $7,000 or something? I'm, I'm looking at that. That's the one? Yep. Okay, and this is the one you're leaning for. Is that correct, Glenn? Yes. If you want to that's, that's the uh, bill design. Okay. Then how much is equipment going to be to replace? No, no, this no. nothing to do with equipment. This is just for the design. I understand. Just for the design. And if we establish the capital reserve account for water, and then one for wastewater, we would, and let's say we put ten thousand dollars in, we could then draw from that account the five thousand dollars for that design spec, and that would leave us the clear fifty thousand dollars for the upgrade to the pump gallon. Okay? So there's a purpose to this. Now, the nice part about that, one of the things about this is you will probably ought to read through the letter because he explains in this that it can only come from the fund balance of the prior year, which was $566,012. So, if we put 10,000 in each account, one for water, we create two, one for water, one for wastewater, then we would have a means of drawing out enough money for that engineering study, plus leave 50,000 that was done for the Warner. Now, does anybody have any questions about this convoluted process that I just tried to explain? Yes, Caroline. Were you intending to do this now? Because typically we reserve funds are authorized at the annual meeting. And that's the beauty of this. We don't have to wait for it. So long as we vote for it unanimously, we can create it tonight. Save our lawyer. This allows us to fix Willie Street, hopefully. No, no, no it doesn't. Yeah, well, <laughs> it sets us up. Oh. If we have a water reserve account, we can then pay the engineering fees for Willie Street, which we don't have money in our current account for. If you'll pardon the dangling proposition. This thing solves a lot of problems. Any more any other questions? You want more time to read? No, she has a question. So the, so the money comes from last year's fund balance, and you're saying that you would take 
thousand for water, ten thousand for sewer, correct, to pay for um, the engineering costs. And well, then, first we create the accounts, the reserve accounts, and then we can draw it out almost instantly to pay for Willie Street engineering or engineering for the pump gallery. Okay. And then what about the fifty thousand for the actual pump gallery work? Is that not related to this? That, that's not part of this. That's already been authorized. So now instead of saying we can't do it because it's going to cost us like almost sixty thousand dollars, <coughs> nope, we've got it covered. Um, and is this also affected by the whole trying to figure out how much water, how much sewer money is in that <coughs> other account? What's is this affected by that? I, yeah. yeah we, we won't be near anywhere near the amount. We're not. We're not going. We're only going to put ten thousand in at the most. So we're not going to come near any edges of how much of this is water and how much is sewer. The other thing is, if you create a work reserve account for water, you can only use it for water-related matters. And if you do it for wastewater, you may only use it for wastewater-related matters. You can't take from the water to do on the gallery. They have to be separate accounts. Okay. And is the lawyer the only one that weighed in on this? Did oh, you no. talk to Michelle Clark? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the Municipal Association weighed in on it, too. And they said that because we're a village district, we have certain authorities that municipalities don't have. you correctly, you're going to take $10,000 from surplus from the previous year, each from water fund and for sewer. Fund, fund balance. balance. Fund balance. Don't call it surplus. It's fund balance. Yes. Okay, because my understanding, and maybe I didn't get this, but it was that it was left over from the previous operating budget. So no. Now it's the fund balance. Okay, thank you. It's fund balance. Surplus and fund balance. There's often overlap, but they're not necessarily the same thing. So the fund balance does include that three hundred thousand dollar account. Then. It, it could, but it includes a lot of other things. Okay, but I thought we've had this discussion probably a million times where I was led to believe that you felt as though that money wasn't part of the. Except for the fact that we talked to an expert who gave us something that we knew nothing about. And I don't think anybody else did. That's when we came up with this. When I said we were working on some of these things, that is exactly what I meant. I know you think we're doing nothing by answering the emails, but we spend, I don't know about the rest of them, but I'm spending about two hours a day in this crap. You know, and it's a lot. Well, I was never fine you weren't working diligently. Um, and this is only one of the projects. Go ahead. Speak. If we, create, if, if we create these accounts, we now have the flexibility to address some of the other issues that the warrant articles and the operating budget did not address. Because if you go strictly by that, no means no. If you didn't authorize money for engineering studies of a particular type, you can't spend the money. But this allows us to. I think Justin earned his money, so when people complain about legal fees, this is what we get for getting legal fees. I'm therefore going to make a motion. But I just have a question. Correct me on, I must be wrong on this, I'm sure, but I thought we could hold, or the commission could hold um, a special meeting to withdraw from the fund balance at any time, given any reason. No. no. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> no. No. You have an approved budget. You have to live with that budget. You can't go into your fund balance or surplus, which is what people call it. You can't just do that. There is, however, a provision in the law, and we'll get to it in a moment, where you can get into some of that money. 
with a set at a time. It, you, you can't do it just with a note. You can't. This, but, this is really confusing. Yeah, I, I understand. No, but I'm, I'm just telling you. We aren't trying to BS you on that. But. Well, I, I, I was under the impression you could hold a, essentially an emergency meeting to withdraw from that fund if needed. That's good. A public, uh, it's right here. A public hearing is not required, but it is recommended, which allows capital reserve funds to be established by vote of the legislative body of the town or district, which allows the town to vote to transfer accumulated surplus. Surf wells, I don't know if you have this, surplus water funds are exempt from these requirements, but the statute does not specify whether a public hearing or a public meeting is required before the vote of the commissioners when we're at a public meeting. Going into reserve funds or fund balance or things like that is a little more tricky than just, let's have a special meeting and vote on it. It requires certain specifications to be addressed. And we will get to that in the next item. Okay? Okay. So you want to make a motion? Well, no, we have a question. All right. May I just clarify because I don't know what you were reading from that last time. What was it? Is it uh, the next no, part? Actually, his, uh, in his letter or the next part? Yeah, it's in his letter. It's, it's his instructions on how to go about doing it. Okay. Like, it, read this okay. script. Yeah. I just wanted to clarify that in reading that you did say surplus funds as opposed to fund balance. I understand that the term. <coughs> Usually what happens, or did happen in the water and sewer district in years past, is they, and the school does this too, is they intend to end the year with money unspent. And they use that in the current year as surplus funds. Okay. Once the year closes, it becomes part of the fund balance. Now, we cannot take it from the current year because we don't have it, but we can take it from a prior year using this method. Are you I saying agree. once we move into the new budget, it's now called surplus funds? I'm just no. trying to clarify that this will actually, no. it sort of, in my hearing, sort of disagrees or with what you said earlier about funds and fund balance and surplus, but in your in your mind it doesn't. Okay, and it's fine. 2019, you yep. have a number of dollars. Right. Let's take the schools as an example. You have a certain amount that they budget for their budget. They're going to end with about I'm guessing around two hundred thousand dollars unspent. That in the current fiscal year is called surplus. Once the year closes. It folds into fund balance, mm -hmm. and it's part of the fund balance. This says we can't take it from this year. We have to take it from the prior year. When it, the name gets changed from surplus to fund balance. Thank you. You are. It, it's like it's called like folding into equity, and you know, private corporations do that. So the fund balance, though, is these multiple years surplus accumulated, correct? Because there wasn't any surplus from it last would. year. It okay. After all, we've got about $400,000 in liquid cash, right, as of the end of the year. But the fund balance is 566000 So where's that other $266,000 coming from? Well, it's prior year surpluses that get folded into the fund balance as the year's close. Okay. All right. I'm going to make two motions. I'm going to make a motion to establish a surplus capital reserve account for water. I move to establish a surplus capital reserve account for water pursuant to the provisions of RSA 35,7 and RSA 38,29, Roman numeral 3, using accumulated surplus water rentals from the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District's Water Fund to be held by the trustees of the trust for the purpose of acquisition, <coughs> construction, reconstruction, replacement, 
of improvements to the district's water system and all legal engineering and other costs related to such improvements. Said surplus capital reserve account for water shall be held by the trustees of the trust and expended by order of the Board of Commissioners for the Rawlinsford Water and Sewer District as provided in RSA 35, colon 15, Roman Oil 3. Now, this means we don't have to go to an annual meeting to spend the funds. All we have to do is say we want to spend it for that purpose. We can't spend it for something that's unrelated to those provisions, the improvement, repair, upgrade, blah, 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 blah. One second. Andy. Andy. I agree. Therefore, we are unanimous. Yes. Now, I move to transfer a portion of the accumulated surplus in the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District water fund balance in the amount of $10,000 to the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District Surplus Capital Reserve Account for Water, pursuant to RSA 35 colon 3 and RSA 35 colon 11, and to order the treasurer to pay the same amount to the trustees of the trust to be held for the purposes for which the Surplus Capital Reserve Account was established, pursuant to all those laws. We need a majority. This only requires a majority vote. Nice. Make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, it happens to be unanimous. Now, we're not going to extend tonight, but we can come back to another meeting later and say, I now make a motion to expend $5,100 to pay for the engineering. What? For the pump out. And now we don't have to touch any of the money in our general operating budget because we're going to pay for it out of this capital reserve account. But that's, the, I just made one for water. So now I'm going to go through this whole thing again for sewer. Huh? Wastewater. Wastewater. So the waste. Motion to establish a surplus capital reserve account for wastewater. I move to establish a surplus capital reserve account for wastewater pursuant to the provisions of RSA 35.7 and RSA 38.29 3, <coughs> using accumulated surplus wastewater rentals or fees from the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District Wastewater Fund, I don't know, to be held by the trustees of the trust for the purpose of acquisition, construction, reconstruction, replacement of improvements to the district's wastewater system and all legal engineering and other costs related to such improvements. Said capital, surplus capital reserve account for wastewater, I'm going to start making notes, shall be held by the trustees of the trust and expended by order of the Board of Commissioners for the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District as provided by RSA 35 colon 15 Roman numeral 3. I make the motion. It is unanimous. I move. I move to transfer a portion of the accumulated surplus of the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District's wastewater fund balance, now it's called fund balance, in the amount of $10,000 to the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District's surplus capital reserve account for wastewater pursuant to RSA 3503 and RSA 3511 and to order the treasurer to pay the same amount to the trustees of the trust to be held for the purposes for which the surplus capital reserve account was established pursuant to RSA 35 colon 7 and RSA 35 colon 15. This requires a majority vote. Second. I unanimous. Unanimous. We've done it. Yes. You need a copy of this. Thank God. That was my next question because I did not write it. Yes. I will email you a copy of this. You can do, a do you need it verbatim on the main minutes? Or yeah. do you need it verbatim? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this has got to be verbatim. Word for word. <laughs> yeah, word for word. And then you can just do a find and replace for water, make it waste water. Yeah. Because there's, there's two no, separate things here. Yeah. So any sewer is not trying to get water at that paper. Yes, right. You've got a question. So now that the, the 
Now the fund's been established. Uh, yes. Are you guys going to discuss the engineer for the pump galley and potentially make a decision tonight? Or we could. It's up to Clem, really. Which you want to that you're done with. We want. Do you want to agree to the... Even though we agree on engineering, we still haven't agreed on all that stuff with the money out of the other $300,000. It's not really done. It's not really done. I mean, this is done. This takes care of engineering only. Correct. It's design build. Correct. Yeah. Then we have to authorize the plans to turn out and do the galley itself. Well, that, that's, 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 that's a $50,000. That, that's 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 already been authorized. $50,000 been authorized. By order. By order. order. I understand. I mean, you get separated out of the other plan. That hasn't been done yet. So the $310,000, what fortune price of what? But assuming that it's a two-thirds, one-third, right? Yeah. There's going to be a hundred and change coming over. So. Right. We, we will never, ever be able to trace it back. What do you exact? I agree. Do you want to make a motion that it's one-third, two-thirds? Someone. Second. Therefore, it is established that the fund balance is essentially one third sewer, two, no, two thirds sewer, two thirds sewer. Thank you. I heard that. <laughs> two thirds sewer and one third water. Doesn't that have to go with creating two separate accounts? No, no. As long as it's understood that we cannot go into sewer funds to pay for water improvement. I like and vice versa. I like the separation because you know exactly what you've got in place you're looking at. As far as Tom uh, Dume is concerned, a unitary accounting system is fine as long as you understand that one third of it is. But we're not going to be here. That's not fair. Well, no, it's going to be on our record. It's going to be on our record. It's on our record, right? Okay? So I'm going to take the. Do you have the right to vote? Yeah. correct? Yeah. So we move into, are we moving on the pump galley? Is that what I'm hearing? As long as all the purchase orders for all the equipment are in and approved, and... and money. What's that? I don't want to get money. Okay. I can get a week. I'm a different deal. No, that's fine. Does that mean I can get free tickets from you? No. Okay. Don't find it all. Now, in order to spend the 5100 we have to come back and make a motion to expend from our capital reserve. <coughs> it has to go to the trustees and be received, and then we need an invoice, which we have right there, that we send to the trustees of trust funds. They cut a check for that amount and send it back to us. But it's got to go through that process. It's not like you're getting the money to Right, it's fine, but it gets the process in motion. Yes. And my biggest concern is we're going to be battling weather here soon, doing this upgrade. Well, we're aware. <laughs> you don't have the signed purchase orders by Monday? They will be reviewed. Okay, well, they will be done by Monday. Perfect. Thank you. All right, be done with this. The next. Yeah. Right. Right. We we have have a yeah, go ahead. But I'm assuming since it comes from the lawyer that. I'm reading inappropriate circumstances can then be used to address unanticipated problems for which there is no appropriation. Are these unanticipated? Yes. I thought this has been going on for a while. We did not know. Okay. Just yet. If we, I'm we, just we, we did not know to. that we would need engineering studies. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. That answers it. Thank you. And we still don't know what the engineering costs for Willie Street will be. Mm -hmm. So those are unknown and unanticipated. But then we have another one for unanticipated expenses. You ready for this? Emergency expenditures and overexpenditures. RSA 3211 procedures and forms, common bills district. Emergency expenditures. Did they get a copy of this? Yes. You guys you have this? Uh, yes. All right. You want me to read this? Or? I'll cover it so it's in. When unusual circumstances are no, 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 right into the theory. Go. The theory says disaster strikes, something unusual comes along, 
for which you did not budget, you have a means of shooting, well, going past your approved budget, but there is a procedure. Mm -hmm. And the procedure is you have to know what you're going to spend. For instance, let's suppose that a major pipeline broke in town, whether it's water or sewer, it doesn't matter. We have no way of anticipating it. It is a necessity that we replace it. It's an emergency. But we don't have the funds to do it. It's not in our budget. So we use this provision in the law, 3211. And what it basically says is, if you have an unusual circumstance, it doesn't say an emergency. It says an unusual circumstance arises during the year which makes it necessary to spend money in excess of an appropriation. Now, Willie Street, you could make the case as an unusual circumstance. Because although it's been a problem, it's become aggravated. Now, what we do is we need to know how much it's going to cost to replace that pipe. That's still sort of an estimate, not a known factor. And with the capital improvement things we just did, we have a means of paying for the engineering cost, but we don't have a means of paying for the water line replacement until next March. Now, here's the painful part. Let us assume that the cost to replace the line is $165,000. In order to do that, we would have to raise the rates to cover that $165,000. You have to raise it within the same fiscal year that you do the work. Otherwise, you might just as well wait till March. Doing it quick and dirty. Yes, Frank, that's the law. Quick and dirty, if you apportion that 165,000 across, say, 560 meters, we're not going to do households, we're going to do meters, that will come to $295 once as a special assessment. I'm waiting for it to sink in. 265, $295, excuse me, per meter. Right. So it, you've got three units, it's still one meter. Right. So that's going to be a big cap on people. Right. And that's the downside of the <coughs> Now, if we want to repair this line this year, it has to be done before December 1st. Because that's usually when they shut down the asphalt plant. So we have to move fairly quickly. Now, there's no way we can put a loan together in that period of time. But RSA 3211 says we could do it probably in about six weeks. Now, the procedure is we go before the budget committee. And the budget committee hears our plea. And if they say yes, then we forward it on to DRA. And DRA then gets to pass on it. If they say yes, we are then able to do a special assessment billing, $295 per meter, because we're not going to ask a construction company to take payments over you know, a year's time. And we could do that. If either one of those two parties, the budget committee or DRA, says, no, no, you can't do it, then we are stuck with waiting until March. I did not sign up, but I want to know how many paying now and if you think they're going to be paying this three hundred dollars extra I mean we're talking about people what we, we always have what 21 people are not paying now well how are we gonna I mean unless you put the penalties up a little higher to get them to pay well sometimes beating people doesn't do it I know I know I, I know. know this the I did a presentation about how we would fund Willie Street. Remember the, the screen? Yep. And I said, how many of you would be willing to pay, I think it was $111 uh, per quarter, and the people in Willie Street all said, I'll do it. Why not? Yeah. But 
A lot of people said they do. We're going to find out right. real quick. Yep, I didn't say I'd do it. I pay my bills. One of the things we would have, we would probably have, is an informational hearing, not a voting hearing, okay. on this to let people vent. Okay? Because this can't, we can't really consider this to be a representative sample because we didn't do it randomly. Okay, yes, Ray. Thank you. Could I get permission from the board to <coughs> reach out to a few contractors for potential lining? Sure. Based what? On, based Wait, what? What? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Did you say lining? Yes. So we both got the report back today on the yes, Street. Yes, we did. So based on the report that came back today, I'd like to investigate the lining process. Slip lining? Um, Sue has offers uh, a, a unique, they came in already once, uh, <coughs> but could I just get permission to look into it and I can present it to you guys? Yes. Don't slow down on the process of replacing well, no. it. <laughs> it, it will I, I, I'll get some information together um, based on the, the report that came back. You know. Okay, if they come in and say 80,000, we still have to do this 3211. It's just a much smaller no, I, number. I understand that. And then we can start adding to these capital reserve accounts $50,000 a year until we replace the line because slip lining doesn't last forever. You might get three years, you I'm might like, get five. If I, yeah, I'll get, if I can okay. gather some information and present it to you at the next meeting. Please do. Okay. Just, just so everybody knows, the thing came back, it was 78%, I believe. Of its useful life. Well, yeah. Useful life still left on the privacy. So on the Willie Street. Willie Street. Street. Yeah. 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 Okay. It, the report just came back at no, like 2.30. Yep. So it's, it's not the fragile, ready to fall apart pipe we thought it might be. Yes. But we still have to proceed as if. Yeah, you have a question. Go ahead. Um, just a clarification. Why is it, because I don't know, why is it the meter versus the units? Oh, well, we, go ahead, tell me. We need to start talking about changing the whole rate structure and how it's done. This idea of if you use 4,000 gallons, you get whacked with as if you were using 15. And the people who are over that actually get a break. Um, we need to do it like they do electricity. You pay for what you use. It's a consumption-based rate structure. And apparently most of the world, except us, uses that method. Didn't the rate study determine that we were too small? To I'm sorry, what's your name? Jessica Wells. Yes, I know who it is. Jessica Wells. You signed up, right? Yes. Oh, she did. Go ahead. So didn't we determine oh, that the rate study determined that we were too small a system to sustain that? We required no. Who who said that? The well, rate study that was just stay. done that I asked you about a month ago at a bruise and presented a meeting. No, there was a discussion. There was a rate study on how much we were paying and what was it, Chapel Hill, Ray, that did that? Chapel Hill, yeah. So South Carolina. University, University of South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. 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 So we, but, we had a chapel, we applied for a grant to have this rate study done. We were approved for it because we're a small system or poor or something. And they determined that while our rate structure does need to be changed, primarily uh, charging more is the essential thing. I don't know when you say you're going to increase the special accounts by 25000 every year. That would eventually deplete the fund balance. We need to start. No, sit no, just the no, 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 just the opposite. It's just like the town. The town puts money into its capital reserve accounts. But it has to come from somewhere. Right. It, the the rates will have to go up. There's yes. just no doubt about that. Right. But it's going to be used for infrastructure. Sure. Fine. But the rates have to go up. Yeah. And if we don't increase, we. I mean, I think the rates are determined that we can absolutely move towards a pay what you use. Yeah. But it's going to go up very, very high for people that are using a lot of water. Well, yeah, that's right. Right. Versus you know, the same way with electricity. Yeah. If you use a lot of electricity, you pay more. Probably. The problem is now you have a, you have people with single single person living in a house. I know a number of people here in town, and they're paying for fifteen thousand gallons of water. You know, damn right. Well, they're not using anywhere near that. Right. So they're subsidizing apartment houses, for example. Yes. Do we have apartment? Do we have apartment houses that only have one meter? Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah, yeah. But they and pay. they pay what I pay? But no, no. But they pay. How much do your house? You probably pay two thirty-eight. Your single-family house, right? right? You pay two thirty-eight a quarter. 
for probably, let's say 17,000 gallons. Let's say. I use 17,000 gallons. I pay $714 a quarter. Because they have three units and one meter. It should be based on... So you are paying by units. Yeah. Yes. Even though you should be paying by consumption. Wouldn't that be fairer? Right. As long as multiple units are paying more, it's just yeah. like electricity. It's the way the analogy we keep trying to emphasize. It's just like electricity. You pay for what you use. If you had three units. So with the 295, you have one meter. Would you pay 295 or would you pay 900? I would, I would pay whatever the rate would be for, for 17,000 gallons. No, no but the 295 is oh, special assessment they said. Why? I don't find that fair. Why? Because, because based on more. Per I've meter. only got one water line coming into my house. But it's times three. three. No. I'm not using, using barely more than, more than three units? No. I'm using 17,000 gallons, which is 2,000 more than a single family minimum. And he's allotted 45,000 for that unit, just to understand it. It's 15,000 gallons per unit that he gets. Just so so, so I'm using all the information because I think that's where it's being missed. Right. Yeah. See, he's paying for 45,000 gallons, essentially. Does that make sense? He's but paying. not with the special, special assessment. No, he's not. Well, that, that was my original yeah. question. I don't understand why we're going by. Why should I? I have one water line coming to my house. One. Not three. Is one. that why we're paying by meter rather than you? Yes. Because of you? No. <laughs> because of you. No. I'm, just, I'm just asking you, trying to explain this. I mean, I. What happens is the three unit that he has, he's paying 50. 15,000 per unit, even though he's not using anywhere near that amount. Imagine if you had one plug on the street, one meter for all the electricity, and you had three houses, and one house uses a ton of electricity, and the other one uses barely any, okay? And this is the only place that I know of. I own property in other places, and I pay for how much water and sewer I use, whether they're multi-units or single units. And in, in this town, you pay based upon per unit. Go ahead. Yeah, so different structures, like you're suggesting in other towns, if there is just one meter on the home, and it's a multi-unit, say it's a 10-unit, you would have a you would have a use fee for each one of those units. You might not pay the 15 for 15,000 gallons, but just to understand, you, the reason why there's only one meter is because it's physically impossible to replumb the, the building to put Correct. 10 meters in because ultimately we'd rather have that because then we could really I find to identify meters. and as a property owner you'd rather that too because then you can bill your your um you your tenants accordingly to the tenant you get just yeah right, right. so you get tenants that are using like crazy you can right, right, right. right but understanding the reason why some of these buildings only have one meter is because of the logistics you just can't put multiple meters on you know, but if, if you were, if it's you, impractical. It is impractical. But if the town didn't allow you to assess that as a three unit and make income on it, then you wouldn't be happy about that because then you wouldn't be able to do what you want with your property. I'm just saying I don't necessarily agree with just the, the one water line coming in because it's really three separate units or ten separate units. We've got 17 unit buildings in town that are going to pay 290, and you've got. Single family home that's going to pay same, right. to You have one line, but you have that three. Doesn't, that doesn't line. That If you move to the new system that you talked about, you would have three meters, correct? No. Well, how would you how would you evaluate how, how many much electric you're using meters, if you don't have How many meters? electric meters do you have to your house? I have one. Right. You don't have one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom, one for the bedroom. You have one I'm meter. not renting out. I, and I, 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 I'm not getting money for my kitchen or my, you know, I'm not but it was charging that off to somebody. But it would be ridiculous to have an electric meter for each room of your house. Why should I have a separate meter for eat? The water flows into the building, okay, and they flush toilets and it goes through the wastewater system. People should be paying just like electricity for what you consume. I understand that. However, I understand what you're saying. I'm not saying I agree necessarily, but when will that process happen? What process? 
the process that we're charged for what we use. Do you have a ballpark? Actually, we can do it tomorrow. We have the we can do it tomorrow, but we're not going. We're not going. We're not going. We're, not going. Yeah. we're going to talk about it. Fish to take care of between now and now. We're going to we're going to have a hearing on it because the last time there was a raise, there wasn't a public hearing. We're going to get you to come in. We're going to let you talk about it. We're going to show you how the rate structure was designed. You can, you know, say, well, why don't you change this and why don't you adjust that? We're going to listen this time. Okay. I, I'm just, maybe this will come out in the public hearing, but it, if you're using three times as much water, no matter how much water. three times as much water and sewer bill. That's the bottom line. The Except point is, the fact, which is three times as much effect on the pipes that we're replacing. Absolutely. Three times as much effect than I'm doing, if you want to take that as how we're looking at it. I'm, I'm just, I'm throwing out there that this may not be, everybody may not accept it unless you really explain it well. I use barely more than one residence. Barely more. Okay, I 17,000 gallons. But I'm being charged as if I'm using 45,000. I'm not using 45,000. I'm using 17. But he, his bill is larger than yours. Rather Mine is $714 a quarter. I'm not arguing that. Okay. I'm arguing how you're looking at um, dividing the, assess the special assessment. I've been through many special assessments. When I had condos in Boston, oh, now, oh, now so, you have to talk about the 295. I don't get it. It doesn't make how, sense. How would you divide it then? By units. If units charge. I should pay more yes. for a capital improvement than you? Yes, because you're passing it on to people renting your units. No, I'm not. I can't. Well, that's not the point. The point isn't whether you can or not. The point is you're, you, you have access to three times as much as I do. You're providing water to three people, three units. More is coming through and leaving your whole unit. No. Okay. It doesn't seem to be an equality thing of paying by meter versus when we pay quarterly, we pay by up to 17,000 or three times the 17,000. I get it, we don't necessarily see it the okay. same way. Could I clarify one more thing on the, it's from Prospect to Willie Street, this main that we're replacing? It's Willie Street. Willie Street. It's Street between Prospect, Prospect and Locus. Okay. And this is what I heard at the last meeting was gonna be $1.2 million? No. 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 no, no. That's if we no. replace Willie, Prospect, and Locus. Well, that's, that's, what that's, that's why I'm just asking personally. <laughs> yeah, no, well, just well, Willie Street. Okay. And this assessment on the pipe is it's just good Willie news. Street. Is what? It's good news. The pipe is 78% of its life expectancy. Okay. And it might well be we could sleeve it as opposed to replace it. Would you make it even cheaper? Right. You do more time to pay. And would you want to do that? Yes. Yeah, you want to do the cheaper? Yeah. Even though it's 78%? Wait a minute. If you had a car with 25,000 miles, would you try, would you get rid of it because you think 100,000 is going to be gone? That's essentially what you're looking at. I don't think it's quite the same when you're looking at a whole town in the future of the town when this board may not be off. I think you make the best decisions and the quality and fix things. Because anyway, if this I wasn't asking a question about that before, so I'll, I'll let that go. But I appreciate the answers. Okay. Thanks. Just to follow up on the, the lining or the sleeving, either direction, um, if, if we if we pull the street up, the goal is to put in material that's not unlined cast, right? That's the issue we're having in those areas, the unlined cast. Mm -hmm. So by doing the sleeve, essentially gets us that material in there. We know that the the, the sleeve is inside the cast. Goes, well, yeah, it goes inside. So it, and it's not real. No, some could be a sleeve, but a lot of them are coatings, right? It could be epoxy. There's different materials that they can cope with. And there's reasons to move in that direction. And one reason is what we found with the integrity that's left, and that's the, the strength of the pipe. We know that if we stay the way we are, it's not, we're still gonna have issues, okay. right? If you guys, so well, that's it's the a, technical it's a, side you guys have It's a potential, it's, it's, but there's no saying that it's gonna be 
cheaper to go that route here than we're going to get prices. But you still have to dig up and you're doing the same amount of work. You're not just saying you dig no. up at points and you, you inject okay. from one into the it. other. But you're still going to get into, um, you still want to look at the valves at the end of the line, yeah. right? And then uh, you don't have to do the connections to the home, so there's a savings here. So all of those people who have been saying we haven't been doing anything about Willie Street, we've been looking at all sorts of stuff. I yes. What is the line? No, you direct your questions. I'm joking. Well, Sorry. then you can redirect. Go ahead. 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 My question is about the life of the sleeve of the line. What, is the, uh, what additional views? And I'll, I'll let him answer that, but everything we've got that says it varies. It does. Yeah. And it varies. And there's because they're different materials, so it depends on what material we're talking about. Um, the one that I've got some experience with in research is Suez. They, they offer a product that's, um, I think it's patented by them. I don't know what their material is, but they they state that that will last up to 100 years. You know, How long? 100, 100 oh. plus, you know. This, that's the same as replacing the line completely. Right. Yes. My question relates to the fact that if it gives us enough time, enough additional years, mm -hmm. in that time, putting funds aside, would buy us time to get to that surplus that we fund balance. If sure, anyone wants to see the report fund. on the pipe, I have a question. Sure. You can certainly have a run for and take a look at it. Sure. And Angela, just to understand, when we start talking about the line, I've already had Suez come up and price us. That, that's where the ice pick came in. They came out and priced the project. It was going to cost more at the time than traditional replacement. Uh -huh. So it's not inexpensive. There's reasons to go with it at times. Um, but this was 15 months ago that they came out to price us. So since they've grown, they've, they've, they've got a satellite uh, organization or, or uh, crew in this area now, which they didn't have. They were everybody was up in South Carolina, I think. So there's a potential that price could have come down. So that's why I asked permission to reach out to them. By all means, with our blessing, Last one. Go ahead. Hey, question. On the pay as you go, so no. you pay, mean, I, pay by consumption. Yeah. Yes. Pay as you go, same thing as consumption. I, I, I got so what you mean. So if rent bill is going to go down, water rates and sewer rates are going to have to go to, to, um, to make true. up the excess of revenue loss because we don't want to go backwards. Right. Correct. That's so, true. So it's actually just a wash. Already much. For the whole town as a whole, yes, you're right. It's going to be a wash. Then you're paying for what you're actually using. Right. So the rates are going to go up. For some people, yes, dramatically. For some people, no. And for stocks. some people, it's going to go down. Isn't it harder to predict that stability, the amount of revenue? How can you guarantee it as much if you don't have the X amount that people are paying for. What if people all of a sudden start conserving their water a ton because they do want their bill to go down? You still have to bring in a certain amount of revenue. It seems harder to predict. You have been already accumulated a number of people who are already using it already. The single family homes. You should use some guidelines to work with as well. So it's a stack. It's probably will be the final answer. Are you going to use multiple years of data, not just a single year? Right. We've got 2017 already in the box. We're for, no, 2018 in the box. We're going to wait for 2019, and we'll start doing averaging and trending. All but the, data the way the rate structure rate currently study. works, it discourages right, conservation. What? Where? What? The data is already existing in the rate study models. You can see it by literally by person says how much water they've used for the past few years. Mm -hmm. But a person is not the same as the district. So we've got to look at it district-wide. Right. It has the district, everyone in the district listed out by person, how much they use, whether it's a another person, whether it's a corporation, an LLC, uh, that's multiple all right. properties. I'm getting off track here. Anybody that <laughs> signed up and hasn't had a chance to speak yet? My I just wanted to work because I think I understand it with a little quiet time. I understand your approach and I appreciate it that eventually we want to move to pay as you use, pay for what you use. Consumption based, yes. I think what I'm saying about the 295 is currently the district is based on usage 
assigned by a board or a commission or whatever that you can use up to 17,000 15, 15 sorry and beyond that you pay more so the approach to rates is that and what I'm saying is 295 for each meter has nothing to do with the approach for rates that you're taking now it will when you eventually change it Right. But currently, it's not how we pay our bills. I know. I so know. times times will change. Times gotta change. Okay. I mean, just the idea that people are watering their lawns with potable drinking water, my sense of Yankee thrift says what? And my sense of you know, people pay equally is I don't think I should be paying two ninety five and you paying two ninety five. Why not? I love equality, don't you? That's not equal. Yeah. All right, end the discussion. <laughs> we'll move on. Let's go um, mm -hmm. uh, Public comments we had scheduled for the next meeting. Gentlemen. I think we said tentatively October. Excuse me while I look at my antiquated phone with this calendar. Uh, I think it was I October 9th. Wait, hold on. The 9th and the 23rd. Wait a minute. I'm going to scroll through. There are budget committee meetings on the 16th and the 23rd. Okay. Calendar. The That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So, the 9th of October, and then either the 23rd or the 30th, what's your pleasure? I kind of would prefer the 30th, but. If we have to get in front of them for it, might be that make it 20, sir. We'll show that. It's a trade. Huh? Oh, what have you guys want to Okay. So let's do the 23rd and the 9th. Okay. Does that sound okay by you? I'm ready to Okay. The 9th and the 23rd. I did point out that the 23rd is a budget city. The 30th is not, so the 30th would work uh, in terms of not being a budget city. How are you tell us? Well, I said it. You did say it, but I didn't yeah. see it in the beginning. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, it's true, but yeah. The 30th, the 30th, the 30th, the 30th is trick or treating, not that you guys probably yeah, care about that, but yeah, I mean, some of the candy if I go to that. Huh? Yeah, 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 no, no. What I'll do is I'll give them toothbrushes and um, uh, dental floss. There you go. Head. All right, so we're going to do the 9th and the 30th. Thank you. Because we'll probably may want to appear before the budget committee on the 23rd to say, okay, this is what we want to do. Anything else? Call for a vote to adjourn. Vote to adjourn. Move.